this little pulsing button over here increased my mobile conversions by 50% just by adding it to my Elementor website. What it does is it opens up a quick navigation menu for quick actions you might want to add for your customers to quickly reach you. Hi and welcome to another tutorial. I'm Amit from Unlimited Elements. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install the mobile conversion menu. So first of all, as always, you're going to need Unlimited Elements installed. After installing Unlimited Elements, you're going to want to navigate to the Extras category from the Category menu. Over here, you have all sorts of categories and you're going to want to navigate to Extras. Inside of Extras, we have a widget that's called Mobile Conversion Menu. I'm going to click Install. It's downloading it from the cloud. Since that's how Unlimited Elements works, we don't install anything you don't want to your WordPress website. So, downloaded and installed Mobile Conversion Menu. And now we will be able to see that menu in the Widgets pane. So I'm inside of Elementor and I'm going to search for my new widget, which is called Mobile Conversion Menu. It's over here. Let's scroll down to the bottom of the page. I'm going to drag this into a new section. And we have our Mobile Conversion Menu already set up. It's not uh, positioned yet, but it does work. And it, has, it also has the default items and that we put inside to help you get set up quickly. So right now I want to position this correctly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into advanced and over here we have custom positioning. I'm going to go for position fixed. Right now it just jumped to the top over here and it's anchored to the left and top. Instead of the top, I'm going to go to left and bottom and it's placed where I want it. If we want to add an offset so it won't be so adjacent to the sides, I'm going to give it a 10 pixel um, margin from left and bottom. And that looks pretty good. I think it's pretty prominent. And we do want to add responsive settings and hide this on desktop. So whenever someone views this from desktop, it won't show. Perfect. So we got everything set up. I'm going back into content. Inside of content, we have a section called items. Inside of items, each item over here represents one of these buttons. So right now we're in the phone button. So let me take you through the fields. First of all, we're going to want to add a title. Type, we have all sorts of types, so phone, WhatsApp, mail, and link. All of this is already set up for you on default, and all you need to do is change the phone number. You do need a country code when using this, so add your country code and your phone number, and you're all set to go. You don't need to do anything else. If you want, you can uh, choose a different color for this button. So I'm just going to show how that works. Perfect. We got that set up. And let's go through the other one. So what's up is the same thing. We just choose uh, the icon, the type and fill in the country code with all of the numbers. And for mail, you just put in your mail. Of course, you can delete any one of these. For example, I'm just going to delete the Facebook one and when I open this no Facebook anymore of course you can add your own custom ones and for each one you can choose your icon using the Elementor icon picker so that's how I did it now as you can see let's check this out I'm going to click update and preview now we're not seeing the button yet and what we need to do to see the button is view this in mobile view. So I'm going to click right click inspect. And over here we have a toggle to see mobile view toggle device toolbar. On top we want to use one of the mobile devices. 
and now we can see the button since this button is configured to show only on tablet and mobile so everything is working as we expected and as you can see this button is pulsing the reason it's pulsing because we want the user to catch his eye and click on it or touch on it since he's on mobile and once I added this to my website I got 50% more people calling me sending me mails and sending me messages on whatsapp so that's how you do it and update me if you have any comments or feature requests and see you next time